Hi students, I'm Nate Sharp. I'm your instructor for this marketing course. Welcome to my course. Thank you so much for enrolling. We have 16 weeks together. I'm looking forward to working with all of you and getting to know you a little bit better through your discussions and most importantly talking about this wonderful world of marketing. So you can learn more about me by going to uh, the uh, start here menu of the course and in that course section you'll see an area where we have the instructor background and my resume is there with my professional background. So I have about 15 years of marketing experience prior to teaching. I work for some big companies like Westfield America and Peco Animal Supplies and Jack in the Box. I also worked for advertising agencies early in my career. So most of the things that we're going to be talking about in this course from an academic standpoint are things that I've actually done uh, through my marketing career. So I'm going to bring those examples uh, into my lectures as much as possible. Let's talk about the online course. So this is an online course. It's assumed that you're a self-starter student, that you know how to use a computer, and that you can work fairly autonomously. Now, that being said, we are going to have a lot of interaction. We're doing this in an online format, so we're using the technology that we have. Not all the conversations are going to be live. There's going to be a fair amount of writing because that's one of the easiest ways for us to communicate back and forth. But getting into the course, the first thing you're going to see is what we call the modules page. And the modules page basically breaks the course down into weekly modules. And within each module is what you're doing for that specific week of the course. At the very top of your modules view, you have a Start Here module. The Start Here module, as it sounds like, is going to give you an overview of the sections of the course. So when you click on the Start Here module in the Welcome to the Principles of Marketing link, that'll take you to a welcome page. And on that welcome page, you'll see a link to announcements. Announcements are basically my communication to you as a class in whole. Here's what's going on with the course. I'll give you updates on, don't forget we have a quiz coming up or something along those lines. Um, make sure that you have your, you're getting my announcements and that you have the proper email registered for the Canvas course. And if you have questions on that, I can send you out a link on how to do that. You'll also see a link to uh, the course syllabus. So this is the Canvas syllabus, which is a handy view because that shows you uh, what's due that week. And there's also a calendar listing everything that's due um, that month in the course. You have a modules menu button as well. Modules are the default view that you'll see when you go into the course. And again, modules list what we're doing each week. I'll cover those in more detail with a separate video. You also have a menu link to grades. Click on that and that'll show you what you're doing as far as grades in the course. The course is based on a thousand points total. So it's real easy to figure out your total grade. So remember it's a thousand points total. Don't get too caught up in looking at the percent of your score in the class. Like, oh, I'm at 30%. Canvas has this weird thing where it'll show you the percent of the grade that you have for the assignments you turned in. But if you didn't turn in some assignments, you're actually not necessarily passing. Um, that's just the percent of grade that you have on the assignments you turned in. Does that make sense? So just remember it's a thousand points in the class and use that as your guide. In the grading section, also from my work that I give back to you, you can click on your grade, particularly if it wasn't uh, full points, and you'll see comments from me uh, with feedback on your score. And then you also have a menu link to course resources. So course resources will take you to a separate page. And under course resources, you'll see a full syllabus. So this is a PDF document, but it gives, this gives you soup to nuts, everything, whereas the menu link for the course syllabus that's part of Canvas is just kind of a condensed syllabus. The full syllabus has everything like grading policies, communication methods with me, uh, how quickly I'll turn around graded work and how quickly I'll respond to you as well as things like student support services, tutoring, writing center, all that stuff is in the full syllabus as a PDF document. Also under course resources you have the study guide. So that's for the quizzes. You also have a textbook 
page, a textbook resource page. Now this course doesn't have an actual hard physical textbook. And it's because it's a ZCT, a zero cost textbook course. I've been teaching this course for 12 years. And over the years, I've noticed that most of the textbooks are pretty similar in their content. And you're going to be able to get the content you need through the resources that I've provided to you on the textbook resource page of the course, which is again under course resources. So we have some online dictionaries that you can use, um, as well as other sources. The PowerPoints have lots of great information. And I also have provided some copies of previous textbook I've, textbooks that I've used at the reserve desk in the library. So you can also go to the library reserve desk and get copies of older textbooks there. And if you prefer to have a physical textbook that you can grab onto and, and look terms up, those are available to you in the library. I'm trying to save you guys money. There's also a rubric for written work. So that's for your uh, written assignments. And then the last link you'll see under course resources is the marketing plan resource page. So the marketing plan is kind of your big research assignment in this course. And there is a dedicated page to the marketing plan piece of the course. So the marketing plan starts in week five. And the way we'll tackle the marketing plan paper, which isn't due till the end of the semester, is that we're going to stair step it along throughout the semester. So starting in week five, you'll have your first chunk of the marketing plan due. And that's all explained and uh, outlined for you on the marketing plan resource page which is under course resources, which is under the start here menu. So those are your resources. Now the menu buttons that you see on the start here screen, like announcements and syllabus and modules, you'll also notice that those are on the left of your screen as part of the canvas view. So you probably won't use the start here menu buttons much other than the first week when you're familiarizing yourself with the sections of the course. After that, after the first week, you're really going to go into the course. Your default view is going to be modules, and you're going to be going to that week's module to complete the assignments for that week. Modules will be your default view. Uh, but you can always go back to the Start Here menu if you want to access course resources like the syllabus or the study guide or the written assignment rubric or the marketing plan resources page, etc. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks again. I'm really looking forward to working with you guys. If you have any questions, just send me an email. I'm here to work with you. That's nsharf at miracosta.edu. It's also listed on the syllabus, uh, the Canvas syllabus, as well as the full syllabus. There's going to be a second video that covers modules and how to navigate your weekly modules coming up next. Thank you.